know where one of Auntie's friends is saying, uh, after that last video, I just, things are falling like that. Whenever I moved here, um, you can see this necklace around my neck. My, my daughter that's in my other video that has almost 2,000 views, thank you, you guys that have watched the video. Uh, my daughter come up and up to me and she said she found this necklace in the yard and she said that when she saw it, it reminded her of me and she wanted me to have it and I was, it is really pretty and it goes good with this, I think. But she brought it to me and she said that it reminded her of me and she wanted me to have it. Um, so she gave me this and I'm like going to keep it forever. Um, my kids are supportive, but my, my wife is not. Uh, they've come up to me and told me that if we split up that they want to live with me. Uh, two of them have said that. The others haven't really said anything to me at all. Uh, and that's part of the reason why I'm going to be here another year because my oldest son, um, he will be 16 next year. And I want it to be where you know, he can make that decision to come and live with me, you know, and I don't want to just leave here and not let him have that opportunity to go. And it puts my kids a year older, and it, it'll help things kind of level out. Um, with that being said, uh, my new job that I've got, I wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, I work at a lumber yard, and I'm like the shortest person there in the whole. Everyone that works there, it's all men and all white like, and me. And I didn't really think that, um, I mean, like being attracted to men. Um, but there was this one guy that was there, and it was kind of weird because. I haven't really felt attracted to men, I guess. I don't know if I blocked it out or something, I don't know. But then I saw this one particular man that was there, and he's actually younger than me, but he's way taller and really, really muscular and really dark complected. And I just, I was really attracted to him and I was having difficulty even doing my job. Because I, I mean, he was like right across from me and he's like the operator of the machine. And I'm like over here putting sticks down on this, on these boards. And so, I, I mean, I just, I felt really uncomfortable around him. And I, it, at work I've had I don't know, I just, I feel awkward now than before. Um, I feel like I'm, I don't fit in. Um, I feel like I've had several moments where I was very dysphoric. I mean, oh my goodness, I mean, I, I had to back up and get away, you know, just because of, of how I was feeling. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know why this seems like now I have more disparate feelings than what I used to have, and I, I really don't know why. I mean, I block things out for so long, but then now I'm, I'm wanting to be myself, I'm wanting to come out and, and be more public, and, and it's complicated. Uh, I've actually had a couple of instances where, I mean, in one thing, I was at 
grocery store and um, there was this older woman and this man that was there and she her him me <laughs> it was, it was um, she was talking to her husband and he was kind of standing in the way and, and she said get out of her him way you know I mean, you know, I mean, it was it was kind of weird because it, it's like, for one instance, she saw me as a girl, but then when she actually, as she looked up and saw that I, I was, I mean, the way that I looked and stuff, um, she switched and went from her him. And another one that we, me and my wife both, we were eating at at, at Denny's, and. The, the waitress walked up and she said, can I get you ladies something to drink? <laughs> and then she looked at me and, she's, and then she was trying to apologize and all I wanted to do was say she was right and my wife was sitting there and all the things that we've been going through, I just kept silent. I didn't say anything. Uh, I have thought about getting the back part of my hair cut off just a little bit at the top come out with it. And I haven't done anything yet. Uh, I'm, I'm just taking my time. I, I wish that things were going faster. Uh, but they're not. Um, I I don't know how many videos I'm going to be able to make. My wife just happens to be at our mom's house for the weekend, so and she took the kids with her. So I'm here by myself, and I've got a new laptop and new internet access, and, and I just wanted to look my best on. I mean, setting up a new channel and everything, and I just took what I've got and kind of put it together. And, well, I, I love this necklace. Really pretty. Uh, <clears throat> I have worked on my voice. Um, I still can't seem to get it where I want it. But I did figure out that the the muscles that overlay the larynx are one of the languages that I was kind of looking into at one point was Arabic. And there is a certain sound in Arabic that is made that you don't have in English. Uh, and it requires those muscles to kind of come in really close to each other in order to make it. And I have a word, um, hakam. It, it means truly. And in order to make that sound, you have to pull those muscles really close together and force air up through really quickly. And I'm also learning to breathe with my diaphragm instead of my chest. I try to relax the upper half of my body. I'm wanting the muscles to kind of shrink down and the only way to do that is to stop using them and I don't know if you guys know but your body has um, uh, everybody thinks you only have two lungs but actually you have four chambers two sets of lungs but four chambers you have the upper set that you breathe with um, as you take in lots of air with the upper half but then there's a lower set of lungs also and you can breathe with diaphragm, with your diaphragm, and it's you take in less air. So you can breathe with the lower diaphragm, and it will, whenever you're talking, you when you're breathing with your lower diaphragm and you're talking, it pushes less air through your larynx. And the whole learning to speak with a more feminine voice is 
I feel like I'm going through puberty backwards because I, I still I push air through too quick and it vibrates really loud. And then sometimes I mix like back and forth and learning where the actual area is where I, I want to stay out is kind of complicated. And sometimes I mean, I even forget where it is and I'm, I'm like, the but for two months, where I've worked at now, everybody wears earplugs and it's like really loud. And I'm, I like talking to myself anyway. But I can hear myself talking with the earplugs in. And I don't, I mean, it's like I really don't know what to talk about. So I just kind of been counting to a hundred. And I would use different tones, you know. Sometimes it's really low and sometimes it's really high. And I'm trying to have an equilibrium between the two so that I can just kind of find that area. Uh, it's, it's doing okay, but I still, I mean, I'm just going to keep practicing because I kind of feel that think about no matter what you look like, if you can make your voice sound feminine and the way that you want it to, and even if somebody says, hey lady, you know, and then you go, and they see you and they go, oh, I'm sorry, sir, you got to realize that when you say something back to them, if you use a feminine voice, they're going to revert back to what they first thought and then apologize again for saying that you were a guy, you know, I mean, it, it's kind of weird. I mean, because your voice and being able to communicate with people is going to say more about you really the moment that you want. And I want that to be one of the things that people know about me. And also, something else. Um, I can't think of who it was, but it was one of the videos, and they, smiling, you know, is something that men just don't do all that much, and I noticed that, I mean, I've got this side of my face, and like strong, and it's just from straining, and it's the, the side that I, I use when I'm straining, and then I noticed this side over here was, I could hardly even move the muscle of my lip on this side, and I, I'm sitting there constantly moving this muscle and trying to get it as strong as the other one on the other side. And I've noticed that the more that I do it, I'm starting to get more of a lift. It's actually the muscles are getting stronger and it's starting to kind of hold it up. And I'm like moving my lips like crazy. Uh, I, have a lip now and before I, I didn't have that much of a lip and I was like really concerned and you know how you have this like really long area through here I mean this kind of conceals some of that too um, I don't have the money for electrolysis I pluck and at first, when I started plucking, it was taking forever, and I mean, I would spend time after time plucking the hair off my face. And yes, some of it did come back darker, but I keep doing it anyway, and it did look more full. But um, that's kind of changed. My youngest son, he come to me with piece of paper was rolled up and he said it was a present for me and he handed it to me and I opened it up and it was a pair of tweezers uh, and they were really big and I had never seen them before and I asked him where he got them from and he said he found them in the yard and um, I really probably going to have to read stuff this again because I'm out of time.